this totally goes against all rules of, I guess, of, of impressing a woman, dating a woman, okay. separating yourself from the rest of the pack, the so-called uh, alphas and betas we just talked about. <laughs> the so-called alphas and betas we just talked about. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the sixth episode of Let's Rap. I'm your host, Jay Echo. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Philosophical. All right. So today, we, we got an interesting topic to discuss today. And uh, and me personally, I wanted to title this episode Toast to the Simps. Uh, a, a, little bit of, a little bit of background on why we're calling it that. Uh, Phil Phil recently introduced me to uh, this article that's that's or not even an article, just this thing that's floating around the internet that uh, Russell Wilson is a simp. <laughs> now I uh, I wasn't aware this was happening because that's that's not the side of the internet I usually roll on. But you know we decided today to 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 discuss a little bit of. Uh, uh, on on the topic basically a couple different things first off i think we should start with the uh there isn't really a webster's dictionary definition of a simp but oh yes it is yes it <laughs> is okay yes it is yes it is uh it has been titled in the internet dictionary as we call it <laughs> as a person that goes above and beyond to do things for someone, a man or a woman, because I don't, I don't, I don't think the female slang of simp has been defined yet. Mm. So we're we're specifically saying males as to someone you just like. Um, so when I when I saw this, I'm like, this totally goes against all rules of I guess of of impressing a woman, dating a woman. Okay. Separating yourself from the rest of the pack, the so-called uh, alphas and betas we just talked about. <laughs> the so-called alphas and betas we just talked about. You know, sure. and now, yeah. now, now we got sips. So, so I guess nice guys finish last, get a title behind it. You know, we might as I well mean, when sure. we're crossing I'm... the finish line, two <laughs> hundredth place. You might as well have the word sip. <laughs> or on the on the on the front of our chest you know it's just no way to go from 200 to 189 place huh? we got to be caught sips now I so what, what brought me to this you know conversation this idea is the fact that you know russell wilson and sierra marriage mm -hmm. now when they first got married i had i had my doubts but that's just me on the outside looking at it yeah the fact that there's been this, there's been this unfulfilled kind of story about Sierra. You know, the fact that she was with Future, future uh, her image has kind of been a little bit mixed, you know, through the persona of her music, the videos, the way she dances, the way she, she gyrates, all this other stuff. Uh, to me, you know, the way a person is portrayed on the outside doesn't necessarily portray who they are on the inside. Mm -hmm. So to me, I look at this and I and I commend Sierra. At first I was like, you know, I know nothing about Russell Wilson. And that was just me being taking a blind eye of things to the fact that who is Russell Wilson other than the quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks? You know, I don't know nothing about this guy, but I'm a, at the end of the day, it's not my place to. It's not my place to know who Russell Wilson is inside of his home unless he made it known yep. to the public to, to, to say what type of man he is. So I commend him for being someone that ignored possibly possibility of who she was, because that's still in the unknown, unless the audience out there tells me, you know, she did this, she did that. Hey, I'm in the unknown on this. So and it's funny how they're calling Russell Wilson a simp, but you know, 
I hear I hear crickets on Kanye and 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 Kim Kardashian, you know, <laughs> and, and and her behavior, her her kind of uh, public image is all over the place. She's got sex tapes out. You know, she's 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 been married for less than eighty days before. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, you have no idea other than looking at her show, what type of woman she is through the engagements she was with with those men. Even with Kanye. So I, 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 I digress on that, but, you know, calling Russell Wilson a simp just because he doesn't betray a certain type of arrogance or behavior. So what he loves his wife. I'm pretty sure he was treating her before he married, treating Sierra this way before. He he married uh, Sierra. So so for let's let's back up a little bit and okay you know so basically the uh, the details I have correct me if I'm wrong okay is uh, Russell Wilson and uh, well GQ I don't know if it was GQ Variety whatever like magazines they like to do this thing well they're well where they will have couples go online and uh and answer questions they'll ask each other questions and and all of that sort of stuff so uh russell wilson uh is asked by sierra uh what's what are you most afraid of and his first answer is you know not being prepared and he's like but there's a bigger one and she's like so let me let me let me let me cut you off there i'm, I'm yeah. sorry to cut you off let's start with that first sentence not being prepared that is something that in the eyes of a man even me i go through it every day mm -hmm. so not you, you're never prepared to have kids mm -hmm. <laughs> you're never prepared to 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 pay your cell phone bill next month. It just comes. <laughs> You're never prepared to pay for a large bill. Your your car breaks down. Anything can happen. A family death. You're never prepared until it happens. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the first that's the first problem I have. It's like if, if there's someone that is constantly preparing for fit things to happen, if you're this like voodoo uh uh, uh psychiatrist, this like uh, psychic teller that can tell me what's going to happen to me tomorrow and you're prepared for it, hey, I can quit my job tomorrow and just start calling you every day. I think you were looking for a psychic because you said psychiatrist and that's a doctor. Oh, well, so, same, okay. same thing. Same thing. They do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> they do the same thing. They do the, I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just so enamored and interested to, 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 to what you hear sometimes when you hear these things. Go ahead. Continue your definition, encyclopedia. Okay. So, what's it called? I mean, nah, we, we don't need to focus on the definition. It's just like, okay. So, essentially, Russell Wilson says he's afraid of losing his, his wife, and, and people call him a simp. Who isn't afraid to lose their wife? That's, let's start there, okay? I'm afraid to lose my keys. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I'm afraid to lose my wallet. You know what I mean? Like you're she, talking she, about a whole person, a person you have literally gone before God, your family, your homies, yeah. everybody, and said, I love this person. Yeah. And you're not afraid to lose them at all. Or if you are afraid to lose them, then you soft dog. Why are you doing that, all that? Nah, that bro, get out of my me, face with that. That tells me what type of person are you that you're not afraid to lose something. Yeah, see, and and or uh, not even something, someone, you know, and, someone that you 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 were at the altar with, that you exchanged vows with, that you went out and bought a ring for, that you're willing to spend the rest of your life with. You done spent time. You done spent money. You spent effort, and now all of a sudden, the possibility of you losing them doesn't mean anything. And that's and how this we is, should move through the world. Yeah, that's that's stupid. Miss me. And this is and this is Russell Wilson and Sierra money. This ain't this ain't like middle class money. Like you this know, is you. Super Bowl this quarterback is, Russell Wilson. And yeah, Sierra, this is. I don't know what her net worth is, but you know, she, I'm pretty she sure. Okay. I'm pretty sure he has spent. A hundreds and thousands of dollars on her. Easy, early, easy, easy. early. 
you know, probably had probably this. Who knows? Who knows? Off of, he probably bought her coffee shops. Who knows what? <laughs> who knows? Hey, what? I, so I mean, we. I, I just want to ask the fellas out there, right? Like for real, be, seriously, be honest with me. What part of the game is this? Like you found you. By all accounts, you know, say what you want about her music, say what you want about behavior, whatever the case may be. By all accounts, Sierra is a tan, you know, according to the. So, so the let me let, let, let's get back to that. Quote unquote, huh? Let's get back to that. Sierra's music and kind of, you know, her uh, let's the way the way she moves in certain videos. Men, women, let's not let's not take the fact out that you have never done anything in your life that you regret. I mean, it's not even about regret. It's like, yo, this if this is how she wants to maneuver through the world, that's how she maneuvers through the world. But that's her business. Yeah, that's we're not, her we're, business. That ain't got nothing to do with you. Yeah. Now, Russell Wilson saw all what she was putting out into the world. And he was like, yo, I'm down for that. I'm here for that. And he married her. <laughs> he you didn't know. just date her and roll out. He didn't just have a kid with her and then dip out future. He married her. <laughs> <laughs> he straight up married and, her. And, like, yo, and, and, and not only I'm... married her, not only married her, but taking care of his kids. Taking care of taking care of the baby he had with her and another man's baby. Okay. Yeah. And, and Wilson and, is doing the, the, the and the his own should be commending people for. But now yeah. all of a sudden, because he's afraid to lose his wife, he's a simp. And this this whole situation, you know, to 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 put sort of less of a rant spin on it and more of like a, a an actual something you can take away from this. This just goes back to that toxic masculinity foolishness that we've been like all of those social pressures, quote unquote, that we've been talking about. I I, I feel like I'm gonna beat a dead horse here. But we I have been horse. talking for the past five episodes. That tells me you guys aren't out there listening. So that means I got to keep repeating myself. Like, and this, is, right, look, this, is a, this is a perfect example of, this is a term where, again, we have allowed to be portrayed as just accepting anything. If a if a woman, I, th I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure because this happens every day. This goes back to what I said: a man is not supposed to impress a woman with things and love and support and showing him to the fact that he can separate himself from the other men. We're supposed to be this cookie cutter type of man and stay in the same category as a man that clearly in in our mindset isn't on the same standards as as they should be like yo we we've said this a couple different times a couple different ways if you are doing all of the right things yeah and somebody else isn't treating you the way you are supposed to be treated that's on them Correct. Here we have a clear example of Russell Wilson Westbrook. I mean, sorry. And mind you, we are not in their houses. We don't know who, what they are behind closed doors or anything like that. For and Russell people, Wilson comes off as a smart guy. I don't think he would have married Sierra if 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 uh, if she was displaying a lot of those public behaviors as in the house and or, this or is, when I mean this, in the house, I mean like talking to other guys, doing this, doing that, just, just, just ratchet. I don't think he would have- goes back to the conversation it. we had last week of like, what you see in the media is not necessarily the real thing. Stuff Correct. is curated. Like, okay, if if you're saying that oh he shouldn't be doing this because it's Sierra and she's a she's a she's a pop star and she's out here dancing and all that, bruh, the industry is literally set up 
hip hop, yeah. rap, all of that. That was built on sex. It was yeah. literally built on sex. Look like, at Nicki Minaj. Lil Kim, uh, 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 Salt and Pepper, going all the way back. Like they've been doing it. So Trina. now all of a sudden, a woman who, who made her money based on that, she doesn't deserve to be treated a certain way. Or Russell Wilson, who is Super Bowl quarterback, publicly proclaimed Christian, yep. out here doing all of the right things. He doesn't deserve to have a woman or he, he shouldn't care about somebody else because of where she came from or where she started. Like this is the dumbest stuff I've heard in a very long time. Like, and I and I have a clear idea of what what kind of happened in their in their household. You notice when they got married, her music kind of stopped. She kind of stopped kind of being in the public public eye. Where is she at now? She's always at his games. She's at home taking care of the kids. She's at she's home so taking nice. care of him. <laughs> she's at home. She's at home supporting him. That's something a woman should be doing. Now, mind no. you, I'm not saying that, you know, she she shouldn't have her own career or anything. She like has that. a career. I'm not saying any of that, right? She has a career. Exactly. She established she established herself. Ex in, in, she in, 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 in however, I mean, if you want to call singing and, and all that a career, because it is, she established herself. Whichever way it's being portrayed as in the public eye to us. I mean, Obviously, it was differently to, to Russell Wilson. Sierra yeah, doesn't make her money. She good. Like, honestly, if Sierra yeah. wanted to, I, well, I don't know what record deals look like for Sierra, you know, all that sort of stuff. I don't know what her bank account looks like. And frankly, I don't care. Okay. For the purposes of this discussion, I don't really care. Like, why is it, why is it a bad thing? to treat the person you have decided to spend the rest of your life with well. Yeah. And why is it in turn a bad thing to be concerned about losing the person you have decided to spend the rest of your life with? Yeah. Like, look, I, I'm not married to Phil, but if, if he died, it would mess me up. It's like, yo, that's my homie. Uh, what happened to think, him? I don't think I believe that, but thank you. <laughs> okay uh, first off <laughs> that'd be a different episode that'd be a different episode i, I appreciate that i didn't know I mean, like look i'm and that's just my homie right yeah if this it's my wife love. yeah or if it's your husband whoever it is if they died and you don't care there's a problem there with you personally yeah. There is a problem and you need to do some serious self-examination at that point. Like, I don't know what people's beef with Russell Wilson is. I, Cause for, like for a long, this dude has been catching, catching L's from, from, you know, the, the, from dudes, from the black community, from a whole bunch yeah. of people for a while, for no reason. All he does is play football and love his wife. That's about yeah. all this dude does. And, that, and that's, such, that's such a bad thing of the internet. Oh, you can't do that because, you know, it's, it's not what I'm doing. And these are the type of situations, fellas, men, you need to observe and take notice. Like this. If these type of people, men and women, it's not, I'm not just putting it out there. I'm saying men and women, you need to take notice of who is saying these things, saying these things, and what's going on. Because if you feel like if you if you notice that they're talking about this right now, what do you think is going to happen if you decide to be in a relationship with them? If you decide to give them your all, and they react in a way that they're reciprocating that all. Are they going to call you a simp? Are you going to be called a simp? Okay, so let's let's do this. Let's. I mean, you you you. One of the key things you said in the uh, in the definition, quote unquote, of a simp was you have no idea how they feel about you, right? Correct. Correct. So, well, no, you means... have no idea. One, you have no idea how they feel about you, and two. I think the definition of SIP is an outside 
behavior that everybody seems to look at based off of the way the way the love is portrayed off of somebody outside in the public eye. You have no idea what's going on inside the house. Russell Wilson right now, even though he's a big time football player, he's making millions and millions of dollars. He could be in the house right now rubbing Sierra's feet. <laughs> Well, first off, that ain't me because I don't like feet, but. (laughs) Well, hey, uh, I I bet you to reciprocate that, Sierra is making sure she's taking care of his kids. Not only that, but, you know, he's he's literally gone for how long is the football season? Uh, I'm mad if you don't know that. Uh, 17 Uh, weeks. 18 weeks. But she's there. She's there at every game. She's holding this dude for 19 weeks, holding this dude down for 19 weeks of the year while he's yeah. on the road working. Right? Not including playoffs. Not including off, playoffs. Not including not including off season. So, from what uh, what I've known, like after the Super Bowl, they get about two weeks off to go on vacation. You know, rest your body. Then you got to come back and work again. They don't get. You know what? I don't. Sure, sports, cool, but <laughs> but. <Yeah. laughs> But regardless, like let's 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 transition this conversation a little bit because yep. I, I'm just it's not like you got a it's not like you got a lot on your mind, man. Let, yeah, let it off because your chest, man. let it off your chest, man. This goes back to what we both have said about how people treat one another, right? Yep. Yep. Cause this is a perfect example. This is the perfect example because from all appearances, again, let me make make absolutely clear I'm saying appearances. I'm not in their house. I don't know their situation. But from all appearances, they are people who are treating each other well. They are reciprocating each other's feelings and they are taking care of one another. Where in that do you see a simp? Because from what I understood of a simp, that was somebody who, yes, you go above and beyond, but you are doing it for somebody who hasn't asked for it, who hasn't, who hasn't, uh, hasn't shown any interest in you, and you yourself haven't shown, haven't explicitly stated your intentions, whatever the case may be. So this dude is married, he has mm-hmm. kids, he has a career, and is showing her all of the respect and love that she is due. She is showing him the same. In the outside world, you know, if, uh, if for instance, like now if I showed up at Sierra's house and I was like, yo, I'm trying to buy you a car, I'm trying to buy you a house, all of this sort of stuff, if you want to call me a simp, by all means, do that. You know why? Because she don't know me. Yeah, I'm not her husband. Yeah. Yeah. She don't owe me anything. But I'm showing up at her place now. There's a difference between fandom and simping. You know, let's 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 make that distinction clear. Like if you if you love Sierra as a fan and you you know drew a picture or whatever the case may be, by all means, do your thing, do your thug dizzle. I don't care. But. There is a certain line that you know you cannot cross because that is not your person. Yeah. The second you cross that line, the second you start doing things that like imply ownership, that's when it gets unhealthy. That's when, if you want to call somebody a simp, sure, because there's no relationship there that's when it becomes okay you might need to fall back homie like you you're doing too much but i'm not going to fault anybody any man any woman any gender non-binary any dog any cat whoever i'm not gonna fault anybody for showing love and affection for the person who shows love and affection to them and as men, whoever, men, women, whoever, whoever's out here in these streets talking about Russell Wilson as a simp, you need to examine your relationships. You do, because if you think the things that he is doing for his significant other are a problem, then 
what are you not doing in your relationship that is probably a problem? Yeah. How are you failing in your relationship? Because like, look, if, if your partner has said, oh, I don't need all of these things, fine, by all means. But if, if doing the bare minimum and the bare minimum for them is different because they live in an entirely different tax bracket. I understand that. I'm cool. But if you are doing the bare minimum and somebody has the nerve to call you a simp, I honestly think you have the right to punch them in the throat. Like, why? It's, it's baffling to me, man. And this is why I say toxic masculinity is a dangerous thing, because if... If me being the partner I'm supposed to be somehow lessens me as a man or as a person, mm -hmm. then there's a real problem, yo. There's a real problem and somebody needs to say something. I'll, I'll, I'll stand up and say something. Yo, y'all need to act right. This is stupid. Yeah. And, 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 the the fact that, and the fact that these type of things that are being said are the examples that other people single people see men and women see and feel like yeah some might say you know this is dumb it's stupid but you have others that say that that follow the internet like putting on clothes and like oh that's a good idea because they don't have the woman they don't have a man they're single so everybody every day is looking for ideas on how to get people a lot of people out here wish uh upon what sierra I mean, the way Russell Wilson's treating Sierra. Shoot. Uh, people are praying for it. Right. You know how many women are out there right now who out of one side of their mouth are talking about, yeah, Russell Wilson's a simp. And then out the other side is like, but, you know, if he were my baby daddy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a different story. It's a different story when, you, when you're not on the Internet. You know? Like, so look, if y'all are jealous, just admit that y'all are jealous. If that's what y'all want, it's cool to say that's what y'all want. But don't be mad. Like, right. I'll, I'll admit I'm a hater. Like, <laughs> I'll hate on a whole bunch of stuff. But I'm not going to hate on Russell Wilson for being a good husband. Like, if, if, if that's what we're doing, what part of the game is this that we're hating on people who are living their lives and not hurting nobody? Yep. Yeah. Like, yo, <laughs> if figure out how you want, like Russell Wilson and Sierra obviously know what kind of relationship they want and they're happy in it. Yep. yep. Figure out, and this exactly. goes back to the first conversation we had about expectations and, and standards, right? If that's not what you want in your relationship, fine. I'm not judging you. I'm not calling you a terrible person. Cool. If that's not what you want, that's not what you want. But if it is what you want, then call these people out who are out here perpetuating foolishness. You got to change the mindset. Got to change the mindset. mindset. We, we got to change the standard. Like expectations and standards for ourselves everybody sits here talking about couples goals like that's out here <laughs> on the internet too you know who's <laughs> couples goals right now russell wilson and sierra you know why they are paid they are in love with each other and they're doing okay that's couples yeah. goals. <laughs> and they keep and they keep their relationship private and i think that's the i think that's why a lot of people are upset like they have no idea other than the outside appearances of how their relationship is I'm, I'm going to do something that I, I I just said, you know, you shouldn't do. And I'm going to make a comparison. You know, oh, this comparison man. may not be uh -oh. accurate, but these these people are also in the public eye. And I'm not I'm not trying to start no drama, but I might. I don't know. Uh -oh. <laughs> we were just talking about Russell Wilson and Sierra. Yep. On the other side of that, there is Beyonce and Jay-Z. Okay. Jay-Z and Beyonce for a long time, they were hip hop royalty. We were like, yo, that's what we trying to do. Couple years ago, Beyonce was literally not taking this brother's calls. 
yeah. was out here with a baseball bat beating car windows in <laughs> on the internet talking about I'm good with this dude. Wow. Now, I don't think anybody in their right mind would call Jay-Z a simp. Nobody. Nope. nope. But he was about to lose his whole family, wife, kids, everything. He was about to lose all that. Yeah. Russell Wilson is no Jay-Z. I have, to this point, <laughs> heard nothing about the possibility of Russell Wilson losing his family. I ain't seen Sierra out here with a car key and nothing. Yeah. Going that cars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But all of a sudden, Russell Wilson is somebody we need to talk about. Nah, I'm good on that, man. Miss me with all that. I'm good. <laughs> and, and and the thing about it is, you you know what's getting not really getting talked about, but it's getting a little bit of traction. Mm-hmm. This this Megan the Stallion topic. Uh, how's a what? You know her her whole you her know persona. relationship with Tory Lanez. Yeah, her oh. persona too. Yeah, you know. But she just came out and said, you know, I want to find love. I want to do this. I want to do that. But it's a constant battle with the public persona you've got to keep up with. Mm-hmm. And I've, I've been saying for weeks, the energy that you put out is the energy you're going to receive. Mm-hmm. So I'm pretty sure in, 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 in relation to Sierra, you know, similar public portrayal. I'm sorry, not portrayal, but appearances, Mm -hmm. similar public behavior, modeled the same behavior. And she probably woke up one morning or whatever and said, you know what? My my public appearances, the way I portray my music is not the person I am. So she met Russell Wilson and Russell Wilson, the Christian, I don't know him personally. All I know is the way he's being portrayed as far as on the football field, through interviews, and on TV. But he comes across he comes across as a Christian man that knows his standards and expectations and values himself even before Sierra. Mm-hmm. He valued himself to say, you know what? This is what I need from you. This is the expectation I need from you. And what did he do at the end? Place a standard on it. And it takes a good woman to trust that or she doesn't. But I, w- I would love to hear your final thoughts on this one. <laughs> I, I've, been wait- I've, been waiting, I've been waiting 40 minutes for this. I, I can't final wait to- thought is, a very, is, is very simple. It's very straightforward. And it's... It's one I think that everybody can 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 take something away from. <clears throat> is keep people's name out your mouth if you don't know their situation. Very simple. Like you don't know Russell Wilson and Sierra's situation. Yes, we see the public stuff, cool, but unless unless Russell Wilson is literally like bankrupting himself to fuel Sierra's lifestyle. I don't care. Like this dude showing the proper care and affection for the person you claim you love does not make you a simp. It makes you a good man. And last time I checked, we were all trying to be good people. Now, if you're not trying to do that, by all means, keep up this stupid stuff. Keep calling people out their name for doing things like taking care of another person, being a decent human being. Keep calling people out their name for doing the stuff you are supposed to do as a husband. Keep doing it. That just says everything about you and less about them. You be that person because the more you broadcast it, the the better chance you give other people to avoid you and stay the heck away from your foolishness because don't nobody need to be associated with you. Like this stuff pisses me off and I'm tired of people. (laughs) 
<laughs> well said. Well said. Uh, you know, you, usually I guess I'm the voice of reason here, but <clears throat> um, yeah. <laughs> There is no reason for this one, man. Like, yo, y'all are dumb no for reason. this. Do no better. Reason. That's it. No reason. Do better. No reason at all. And, you know, next thing you know, we're going to put her on hats and shirts. You're a sip. I guess I guess I'm a sip for, for treating, treating my lady right. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, Sim. You know, you know, yeah, you, you do things. You do things like cook dinner when when she's at work and she's yeah. running a little late. That, that no, makes I will, sense. no, and I will you not. Know what, you. sir? I will toast you. Okay, yeah, that's right. That's right. Shouts out to you for being a decent human being. Shouts out to Russell Wilson for being a decent human being. A this right fit. here is for all <laughs> the decent human beings out here in the world. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. We need more people like you. Yeah. Call me a decent sip. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, you know, you guys know the socials, Twitter, let's rap to Instagram, let's rap underscore and YouTube, let's rap, you yeah. know, we release episodes Sunday and Wednesdays. You know, we just want to thank you for all the, all the journey. I know it's been a short journey. You know, thank we're, you for we're, we're a couple us. weeks in when, and, and thank everybody who's been listening, family members, non-family members, and people who just stopped by for a hot second. We appreciate we appreciate, it. appreciate everybody. And thank you. And you know, Oh, and, uh, and, and shouts out to our editor, the, the, the dude who, uh, who, who puts, uh, who, who puts the videos together for YouTube and everything like that. Shouts out to you, sir. Um, Damien. We we appreciate you, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll be posting his information in the uh, in the information box below. We got some new things coming down the pipeline. We are hoping you guys are enjoying the intro. Uh, just a lot of new things coming down down the pipeline, as I said. Yeah, uh, we're you we're, guys, we're very growing. excited about it. We're we're growing. We're, we're, it's it's going to take some time, but we're growing. That's that's what it is. Yep. So. Until next time, this is Philosophical. As always, fellas, ladies, peace. Take it easy, y'all.